show you how you can make a spreadsheet in Google Sheets um, for your texting and driving assignment. So um, follow along as I do this. So when you're in your drive, right, you have to be in your drive, you can use your waffle if you need to to get to your drive as long as you're in your school email. You go to new and we're making a Google Sheet. So we go to Google Sheet just like we did when we were graphing. Put a title in there. So maybe I'm going to call this tech. Oops. Maybe I'm going to call this texting and driving. And then I look at my assignment, and my assignment says right here, um, I need to do the following things, right? I need to have a user-friendly input field for reaction time of driver initial speed. So let's start with the reaction time of driver. So I'm going to go over here, back to my spreadsheet, and I'm going to type in what is your reaction time in seconds. Of course, you can do it differently if you'd like, but that makes sense to me, and I think that would make sense to other people. But notice it goes past my, my box. It looks really funny. I want it to look nice, so I'm going to come over here. This is text wrapping right here, and I'm going to wrap my text, and it's still kind of not... So I'm going to stretch it out, so see how I can grab that? I can stretch that out, and now that looks pretty good. And then I'm going to make this my input box, and so I'm going to make it have just an outline. And just because I want to make it nice and user friendly, I'm going to make it have a color. So maybe I'll make that one be yellow. It doesn't really matter. But that way I know that's an input box and somebody's going to type that in and they're going to type it in seconds. I'm going to come back over here to my directions and it says I need initial speed of moving vehicle. Okay. So I'm going to come over here. I'm going to type in what is your vehicle's vehicle, so that'd be apostrophe S, right? Initial uh, velocity. It's velocity or speed, right? But velocity is going in one direction, so that's okay. On the flat horizontal uh, tile, and I'm gonna say in meters per second. I don't want people. I don't want people typing in units because in Excel doesn't consider it a number, so it needs to have no units. So I have to say what units it is. Again, see, it's going too long, so I'm gonna come over here. I'm gonna wrap. Okay, and then again, I'm gonna make a user box over here box around it and I'm gonna fill it with yellow so again that's my box here I picked this box here and then I came over here and I filled it with yellow and then we're gonna to go to the next what's the next input field uh, magnitude of deceleration while while brakes are applied okay so maybe I'll type something like what is your acceler what is your vehicles right vehicles acceleration rate on the carpet and maybe put a note since it's supposed to be user friendly this should be negative so I remember that it's decelerating right when I type it in because I'm gonna have to use this later right again we're gonna wrap it and again we're going to put a oh it's not here here we're gonna fill it with yellow and we're gonna just put a square around it so now I have my fields now if I want to maybe I want to make that a little more stretched out there we go all right, so now I've taken care of this first part. Now I need to do my calculation. Okay, so what I have to do, I have to calculate the distance vehicle moves before brakes are applied. So I'm going to type in the vehicle will move this many meters on the tile based on your reaction right because that's going to change before the brakes are applied um, before it reaches so before it reaches the carpet because the carpet is our brakes remember and again way too long we'll wrap it but it's really long so let's stretch it again you can decide how much you want to stretch it and then here's going to be where I'm going to put my box. And maybe I'll make this a different color. Maybe I'll make it green because that's where we're putting information. Okay, what's the next thing I need? The next thing, distance vehicle moves while brakes are applied. Okay, so maybe I can type in here, distance vehicle moves, moves while, oh my goodness, while the brakes 
are applied. Oh, let's put in meters. Did I say that on the other one? Probably not. So the vehicle will move this. Oh yeah, I said this many meters. Cool. So we've got that. We got to make sure because we can't put the units in there. Again, I'm making that. So it wraps. I'm going to fill it green. It doesn't matter what order you do this in. I put a box around it. And then what's the last thing I have to do? I have to figure out the total distance. Okay, the total distance. So total distance vehicle moves after seeing object and stopping, stopping in meters. All right, awesome. And here, wrap it. Oh, no, I don't want to box that, right? I want to box this. So I box this one and I fill it. That's great. All right. What is the, oh, it does tell me, it doesn't really say it in here, but it does say in here that it has to be within 10% error. So I want to put that in my spreadsheet. So I'm going to put actual, actual, dis, total distance in meters. And again, I'm going to wrap it. Let's wrap that. And then maybe I'll make this one. I don't know what color shall we do that one. Um, how about orange? Because you know we're Santa Teresa. And then put that there. And then here I can put percent error. And maybe put a note should should be less than ten percent. Yeah, wrap it, wrap it, and box it and fill it. There we go. All right, except for it's not doing anything yet. So numbers are going to go in here. So these are input fields, so I don't need to worry about that. But these are calculations over here. This is another input field, and this is a calculation. So I want to figure out how many, what, what, what the distance is. And I know from my notes that I've taken with Ms. Demas that distance is going to be equal to V times T. So let me, let me put some numbers in just so we can play with it. So let's just say my reaction time was 0.8 seconds and my initial velocity is 1.3, and my acceleration is negative 0.015, just as an example. And I don't really like how that looks, so I think I'm going to center that, because again, you want this to look nice. Remember, this is for the DMV. And then maybe these I'll make a little bigger so that they really stand out. There we go. So now that looks a little nicer. So now I have the numbers that got inputted. But now I need to calculate this. Because it's a calculation, I have to hit equals. And see how the equals shows up up here? It shows up over here. So I know distance is equal to V times T. So my V is this, and my T, I put a star, right, times T. It multiplied it for me. Awesome. So it's going to move 1.04 meters. This one's harder, but we derived that in class. So hopefully you have it in your notes. So this one's supposed to be v squared over 2a, but a is a is going to be negative, right? And so it's got a negative in it. So it's it, I'm going to put the negative here just to make my life easier. So I'm going to put oops equals. I'm going to just put negative one just to make it come out positive. So times and it's supposed to be v squared. So this was my initial speed, but I'm going to square it. So I'm going to raise it. That's that carrot to the second. All right, so that's v squared divided by 2 times a. But I have to put that in parentheses because, you know, the order of operations, it'll square before it divides, but it won't multiply before it divides. So I'm going to have to say 2 times my deceleration, which is this one. And then if I hit return and my formula is right, it should give me a value. So it says, oh my goodness, I'm going to move 56, 56 meters. Did I do something wrong? Uh, it should be negative 1 times b4 this one, B4 squared, and divided by 2 times B6. Oh, because I think my deceleration is a little too slow. Let's make that negative 0.15. Oh, that sounds much more reasonable. So always make sure the numbers make sense, right? I'm like, oh, it wasn't 0.015. It should have been negative 0.15. That makes much more sense, right? Because that's going to be able to stay on my carpet. And the total distance, that's the easy one. Again, it's the formula. So I hit equals. Again, it shows here and here. And then I'm going to click this because I want to add that plus this, which is why I wanted it to be positive. So that's the total distance. Now notice these numbers are kind of nonsensical. So let's go here and we can format that. So we go format 
number, and we want it to be a number with only like two decimals. And again, let's make it a little bigger and let's center it so it looks pretty. There we go. So now I've got all the information it asked for and I know it's gonna move a total of 6.67. So I test it and again, I have to put this in. So let's say, oh, it moves seven meters. Oops, didn't take it. Hello, there we go, seven. So it moves seven meters. So now I gotta do my percent error. We learned that in the lab. So percent error um, is equal to parentheses, because again, of the order of operations, actual minus calculated divided by actual. And then of course we gotta multiply times 100. But if I do it at the end, it won't work. So I'm gonna put the 100 at the front so that it actually multiplies the whole thing. And it's telling me up there what it is. And I says, oh yeah, sounds good. And so there is my percent error. Yay, it's less than 10%. I did awesome. So I'm gonna center these and I'm gonna make them bigger. And I'm gonna make this, well, let's make them both just numbers. Format, number, number. And that makes it 7.00, but that's fine. Maybe it was 7.12, I don't know. And I actually measured it and I got 6.27. That's it. And then you're set. Great job.